Hey guys, welcome to my uh, second auto coding tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over um, simple functions that are used for um, manipulating web objects like input boxes and stuff. The functions I'll go over are um, IE create, which will create an Internet Explorer window. IE get object by name, which will get a web uh, get a web page's name. There's also I get object by ID, but I won't be using that. Similar, just uses it just finds the ID instead of a name. I E action does an action on an ID such as uh, clicking, um, or it does it on the web object just by ID or name though. Um, I E I net get source is an I net function which will get the web page source, which is useful depending on what you're doing with your project. Um, I E property set which will set a property to an object or like. Um, in in our case, where I'm going to show you, um, inner, uh, I'll set the inner text property, which is the value or the text shown in the value, or well, um, there'll be uh, input boxes, and I'll set the value of the input boxes to whatever I want. <laughs> that sounded whatever I want. Okay, um, the files you'll need will be include ie.83. If you want to use that inet function, you'll you'll need inet, but in this case, I'm not going to be using it, so I don't need it. Um, and first off, we're gonna create our um, Internet Explorer window, and we're gonna use IE Create. And all we need is the web, uh, the website. And oops, not that. Um, I'm gonna use my website that I made just for this tutorial. Simple uh, two input boxes, and it's gonna go to that. Next, um, what I'll go ahead and show you just uh, creates the IE window. Yeah, simple. Now I'm gonna get those two objects, and since you're acquiring an object, you want if you want to do anything to that object, you're gonna simply store it into a variable. So I'm gonna do name equals I get object by name. So I'm gonna get the object by its name, and it's gonna be the first parameter is gonna be the web browser object, so it's gonna be OIE, and then the second is the ID or name, and the first one is name. Same for the email input box. So essentially right there, I got the two objects by their name. And in the source of the document, you can find that by just right clicking and view source and you'll see the source of the web page. And you see these two input boxes and then you'll see their name. Name equals that and name equals that. Name and email, those are the two things you need. So you have them there. And next, I don't need to sleep, um, I'm gonna set the property. Since it's just it's doing an action, you don't really need to set it to a variable. So you're gonna do IE property set, and what we're doing, we're gonna set the property of name. Uh, inner, we're gonna set the value of name and email. So we're gonna do name first. Set its inner text property to new value Henry, my name, and then we're gonna do the same for email. The inner text and uh, Henry at gmail.com so um go ahead and show you that oh gosh that's not important okay uh so here we go just go ahead and run it make sure you have it saved so it actually runs so there you go it got the id or then the input box objects by their name and then set the value of them so yeah that's pretty much what i was going to show you there i'll show you, i'll go ahead and show you the inet function since i have time um, and with this, you don't need a web browser object. You just need the function in at get source and the the URL that you want to get the source of. And I'll do my own websites. And I want to store it in a variable so I can show you in a uh, message box. Store it as source, message box, and then source. Let's show you the source. There you go. In the message box, it will output the full source of that web page. And there you see the names. <laughs> Um. Oh, I didn't get to show you IE action, but um, I'll go ahead and tell you with IE action. Let's say I was going to use it with that function, or I mean not function, that variable name. Functions that you most likely will be using, if anything, will be click, which will click the object, or focus, which could uh, can just focus on the object. So just you get it. Focus would be would be like um doing this 
it, it's right now I didn't, I clicked it but it's right now it's focused because it has that little typing thing it's focused on so that's essentially what it will do but, uh, I can't show you because what I use is a PHP document for my web page and uh, IE action tends not to work on most of them and I already tried it and it didn't work so I didn't really need to waste time on the and embarrass myself but yeah that's the basics of uh, the uh, Internet Explorer functions with AutoWhip. Uh, my next tutorial, I don't even remember what my next tutorial is, but uh shouldn't be too long until that comes out. So until then, I hope you enjoyed, um, and uh, see ya.